you be done. How many of you know we're in the season of greater works? Yeah. Greater works, greater works. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, uh, to see eyes, blind eyes open and, and deaf ears open and, and to see manifestations of healing, those are great works. But I believe the greater work is trying to get humanity, or should I say the church, on God's page. Yeah. I mean, that's a great work. Amen. Trying to get us to respond to God. Yeah. <laughs> trying try to get us in sync with Him. Yeah. <laughs> and stop wrestling with all the other things that, that becomes a distraction to us yeah. and a detriment to our total uh, development. Because how I many know greater work is for us to come into maturity? Yeah. There are those whom the Lord is grooming right now. I believe it. There's some people in the earth today. God is grooming them. Yeah. Hidden by God for God. Some people in the earth and understand the significance of this hour. They're not wasted, they're not Esau's. They don't have excuses, they're just being groomed. Mm -hmm. Tailor-made by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And harnessed of the Lord. Amen. And they're, they've been brought to the end of themselves. Mm -hmm. These individuals being grooming right now are those who receive what he is saying and doing and are being prepared to learn how to operate in the spirit at a more profound levels than ever before. The technology of the spirit, the instruction of the spirit, the strategies given of the spirit are so so different than it has been in time in times past. Incrementally, I can see it in my own life. You know, the first five years, I was trying to define my call, trying to figure out what, what it's all about. I knew I had a, a, a call to this region. I knew that the spirit of God was on me. I had the affirmation from other uh, seasoned and proven ministries, so I wasn't doing it on my own. I'm, I wasn't a slingshot prophet. <laughs> Where it lands. <laughs> but I believe I was an arrow and the quiver Amen. of Apostle Buford Amen. shouting to Joliet. For such a time as this, but I believe uh, the, the mode of operation of the Spirit, incrementally as it was the first five years, I believe God is doing something in my life. And not just mine, I'm not the only one he's doing. I'm just making it personal for me. And I, and I, can, I can feel it, I, it's the intensity of his touch, the, the whisper of his voice is so much different. It's coming from the same person, but it's another frequency. Amen. 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 This is what we must understand. Because these levels that he's preparing us for is to get on his page. You want to know what his page looks like? Huh? Anybody? Okay. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> Jesus redeemed the whole world at the cross. All that was accomplished there was for the purpose of bringing mankind to the place of God's intent in the creation of man. The Genesis effect. God spent 4,000 years, amen, amen, to bring us to a point or a juncture where we can begin to find out that his intent for creation from the beginning. So from the cross, which is three days, to this day, he has been calling out a body for his name from among the redeemed. So there's a people within the people. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, we think just because we accepted him as Lord and Savior, or we got sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, that we're going to be a part of that group. <laughs> we're not going to be a part of that group if we don't allow him to groom us. Remember, the design of the Holy Spirit is to tailor make us and to go on the inside of our spirit, man. And he's doing it secretly like we talked about in wisdom. Precisely and secretly. It's not a hidden miss. He's not beating the air. But he's doing something that he had within himself to have a people for his name's sake. For his name's sake. Which simply means he's not going to give his glory to anything other than himself. No copycats. No substitute. No knockoffs. No cheap impressions. No imposters. Don't get tight. I hope those four didn't touch nobody. I mean, I got, we got the real deal here, right? Yeah. Okay, uh-huh, yeah, right? Okay. 
It is this body that should present Christ once again in human flesh. Incarnation is what it's all about. You don't hear a lot of people talking about the incarnation because the first two words in society is reincarnation. So the church has said, we're just going to leave it alone. But there's an incarnation that God is looking for. That means the word of God is being made flesh in the people. Housed once again in this body as frail and as weak as it is, God is going to begin to bear our infirmities by the spirit of God that's in us. Freeing us from ourselves. Yes. Why? The Father desires to have a people from within his people who will so yield to his processing and changes in their lives that he can change and equip them for their specific tasks ahead. Yes. See, we, we despise the day of small beginnings. How many know? Mm -hmm. Big is better. But somebody told me a long time ago, less is more. Mm -hmm. And I believe, amen. I believe there's some narrow people, not narrow-minded, but it's the people that have been condensed. They've gone through the process of God that allowed God to hew them and shape them and mold them to become the potter to the vessel so that we can become a vessel full of honor, a vessel full of glory. Amen. And this task at hand is to bring restoration to all of creation. As hard as it is for us to even fathom that God will pluck us up out of darkness, bring us into his light so that he can continuously progress us through levels of understanding so that we can finally agree with him, stop resisting him, and start agreeing with the plan and the purpose that he had for us from the foundation of the world. Not so he can get us to heaven, so heaven can come here. Amen? So that heaven could be here. So therefore we're living in the early dawn of the fullness of the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. This appearing will be through the long-awaited manifestations of the sons of God. What was the hidden wisdom about, y'all? Anybody? Take a shot in the dark. Hidden wisdom. What was it about? Totality. What was the goal? Aim. Spend four teachings. Just lay in the backdrop. Huh? Sons of God, y'all. That's the hidden wisdom. So God has to form him. God wants to form him with people that can carry his name. For his name's sake, to be a representation of who he is. It will not just it will not just save and heal and bless his people, it will deliver creation from the bondage of corruption. So the very tool and instrument that God has given to the church to bring restoration and recovery in the earth, we wasted on ourselves. Amen. We keep trying to get healed, keep trying to get saved. We keep trying to get delivered. Am I helping me out? Yes, we keep going, spinning the wheels, still trying to figure out if this church for me or the next church for me or this person for me. And, you know, we waste this a, a, a good amount of time trying to even decipher if we're going to untangle ourselves from the affairs of this life so that we can become everything that God would have us to be as a representation of the kingdom of God. You know, so he wants, to, he, wants us, he wants to deliver creation from the bondage of corruption and it will bring full salvation, spirit, soul, and body. So for the last century or so, God has escalated the movement of his spirit. Once upon a time it used to be in uh, 500 or 1,000 the increments was, but now in this era, he's escalating mm -hmm. his spirit or the the, the operation of his spirit so he can culminate his purpose in the people. But the, 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 the delivery of creation itself will not happen. There has to be a first fruit first. There has to be a first fruit people. That is what I'm talking about, bringing the people that will carry his name. And why other, the majority of the masses would look for a cataclysmic, a downpour of vengeance and anger from God. I mean, the most of... Y'all are right tonight? Yeah, we're just listening. Okay. How many know that most of the church is waiting on something to come down like a, something like a, 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 a destructive... Uh, yeah, something, something cosmic, something devastating from God because he's mad at everybody. And that's what we were taught, an angry God. Yeah, amen. 
But the master plan is not destruction. The master plan is a resurrection. A resurrection of a people into full identification with the seed that was sown at Calvary that is now ready to break forth in complete maturation. So his plan is not to destroy the earth or the universe, but to redeem it and restore it. The whole purpose of the coming of Jesus Christ with the glorious gospel of the kingdom of God is to bring forth a new earth filled with righteousness in the lives of all mankind. Yes. Not to destroy the earth or the world that he has grace with his divine presence and atoning blood. He paid for it. He purchased the earth. Why would he destroy it? That's like you go to buy a car and taking a hammer to your car. You're not going to go buy it. Come on now. Because it won't start. You don't just take a hammer and beat your car, am I right? What you do? You take it and get fixed. And that's what God is doing. He's giving that pattern to a people so they can fix humanity. So that it can be reset. See, the church, we can be reset. It's the mercy of God that we're not consumed, so we can be reset. Recalibrated. So we can be effective. In this hour. Y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. An earth that's filled with the righteousness and the light of all mankind. Not to destroy the earth. Or the world that he has graced with his divine presence. And atoning blood. Go to 1 John 4. God's elect are destined to be the agents and ministers of that restoration. Destined. We destined. Yes. We're not destined to sit on a premise, mm -hmm. sit on a promise. We're destined to become revolutionaries. And what, something a long time ago when I did the Cyrus teaching, a kind of class. You know what the kind of class is? You can see the root word icons. It means to destroy images. We've been called to destroy false images. Huh? Yeah. We've been called to destroy images, false images. <laughs> Things have been parading itself as God in the yes, temple. Yes, yes. The mystery of iniquity has been hiding, having a form of yes. godliness. 